Hello, I'm Arnold Lowry. The materials I'm going to use are lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, gamboge, aureolin, ultramarine blue, burnt umber, burnt sienna, raw sienna, viridian, cadmium orange, cadmium scarlet, permanent rose, Windsor blue, cobalt blue, turquoise and thioindigo violet. The brushes I use are a one inch flat brush, a half inch flat brush with a scraper end, a rigger and a number eight round. The other materials I use are a putty rubber, a pencil, a razor blade and a sponge. I'm going to do a painting where the seas are quite vigorous uh, to give a, a lot of action and a lot of emotion. So here goes. Just get it drawn in and um, So we'll have a, a nice shape of rocks here. So they'll be unpredictable in their shape, which will make the picture more interesting. So now we'll get some, some paint on. We'll first start off with the sky, which I want first of all to wet so that it's nice and soft. I'm going to mix some Windsor Blue and a little bit of Cadmium Red. Paint in all different directions so it evens up the, the paint area and gets it nice and soft. A little bit more in here. And, um, and then we'll get a sponge and we'll wring out the sponge and uh, push it up into there. Keep cleaning the sponge, otherwise you'll push the colour back into the paper. And then we'll just get the edge of these rocks by using a razor blade. Now then, let's get some, some tone on the rocks. I think I'll use the same colour Windsor Blue. Perhaps a little bit of um, permanent rose with it. And uh, not a lot of water. I think at this stage we'll change colour. change colour. And change colour. When you're painting a motion, you don't paint the colour is, that is particularly there, you put the colour that uh, you feel about it. And uh, I happen to like those colours. And, uh, we just push some of this um, waves back up in here now. I think we'll put something darker in there now. Again, this winds are blue, I think, and a, a bit of cadmium red. And, um, and get the sponge again. Make sure that this shape becomes an interesting shape and not a predictable shape. Perhaps a little bit of tissue or just... Keep a 
clean piece of wood frame. So we're getting that rock in. And we can also lighten up some of this here so we can get some of the spray coming through from the back. I might re-lighten some of this too. There we are, that's better. Nice long bit in there. And maybe a bit in there too. Next job now is this rock. Perhaps put a bit of ultramarine and, and red into that. Again, we start changing colour. Bit of cadmium orange there. And if I go warm, then I'll go cool. And don't be afraid of making the colours too bright because you can always knock them back with a complementary colour. down here into get a different level to that so it will stagger down it's a little bit too blue there so we had a little bit of brown into it that's a little gray it off a bit Razor blade. And, uh, get the light coming in this way, so we'll just uh, maybe just get a bit of rock in there. If you drag the razor blade lightly, you get this nice uh, texture. Get the sponge now and uh, get some of these waves up. And we can go back into this while, while it's still wet. And if we want, we can put some little crevices in. That's a razor blade again, perhaps. Uh, Try and get it all to be unpredictable. I think now we'll get this big rock in. So I think a bit of burnt sienna, possibly an ultramarine to start with. Try and keep it cool up the top because it'll give height to your, to your rocks. And again, don't be afraid to change colour. No. Don't be afraid to use paint. Because paint is no good in the tube. It's only good when it gets out onto the paper.
change color. There, and, uh, get the sponge. And I think we'll get a just reclip this a bit. <coughs> 